Hi, I'm going to talk about living life unconflicted. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm going to tell you. A lot of times we have voices, nah, we have forces being like, one is like, hey, this is what you should do, and then the other one is like, hey, I want to do this thing, and you know, you got, you, you got, a. Uh, you got the competition between what you should do versus what versus what you want to do and that conflict can last a very long time and you may think to yourself oh well if I do what I want to do all the time instead of what I should do uh, I'm gonna be miserable and I'm gonna end up uh, causing havoc Bullshit. So, um, let me talk to you a little bit about this. A lot of people growing up uh, tell us that we should do what we sh what we what we should do, which really means what they want us to do. What we should do instead of what we want to do. This is, uh, you know, the, 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 you're in kindergarten and you have to go to the bathroom. Well, what should you do? You should raise your hand and uh, say, Oh, can I have permission to go to the bathroom? Instead of just walking out. Because we, they don't want havoc. They don't want the kids to do what they want. Because we've got to learn some very important lessons. All of which I have completely forgotten at this point. So I probably couldn't do third grade math if I, if I needed to. So it's really about authority and obedience. So what I'm talking about with an unconflicted life is just saying, you know... How about, how about I'm going to do what I want to do every minute of every day and forget about what I should do? Because if, if I am running out of money, for example, running out of money, right? We do what we, we should do, like our jobs, because we're afraid we're going to run out of money and then we're not going to be able to get what we want. Okay. So, but the thing is, though, is if you're running out of money and you have a job and you want to work more because you want more money, that's what you want to do. That's not what you should do because that's what you want to do. However, if you are working a lot because your parents or some other pressure tells you that that's what you should do, and that's not what you want to do. That's what you. That's what they want you to do. Basically, should is just basically what other people want you to do, or what what you think. What you think is better. Um, but the thing is, when it comes to dealing with problems, you got to deal with them as they come. That's my opinion, anyway. You deal with them as they come, and not so far before they come you know you can only deal with you know right now or or very few steps in the future very, you know and and that's it so like right now i'm i'm starting to work more um because i need more money but that's okay because i want to do it but anyway it's the thing is, the authority has seeped so deep into our minds that we no longer think of things as simply as a child does, which is really what we should do. Not should, but what would be beneficial for us to do, what would make us feel better. What would make us feel better? A child, or a dog, or something like that, any other animal in the animal kingdom. You know, they don't they don't live a conflicted life. What I was talking about before was the safety net. How you're not going to do anything that's going to completely ruin you, and you're also not going to do anything that's going to ruin anybody else. So, if you have an impulse, if you have a a feeling that you want to carry out, and it just comes and you just do it, you're not. I'll tell you one thing. You're not going like. If you have the impulse to uh, to do something really violent, 
and and you you can think about doing it but you're probably not going to do it but what I'm saying is living a non-conflicted life is not even thinking about student it's it's anti stewing over stuff anti brooding it's just oh I want this and I'm gonna do it it just just that's it it just but you don't even have to think about that like all of this speculation is not even it's just pointing towards non speculation that's what it is it's like the opposite of speculation it's just like oh if I do this I'm gonna do maybe this will happen no it's just I it's just I'm going to be 100 percent 100 percent selfish that doesn't mean that I'm never going to help anybody. It just means that I'm going to be 100% selfish. And if and if if the minute I don't want to talk to someone, I want to say goodbye. The minute I uh, don't want to be somewhere, I'm gonna go. You know what I mean? There's an exception, of course, with work because we know if we just leave work, we're going to get fired. So that's the exception. But I'm not at work all the time. So my, the work authoritarian, authoritative, blah, 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 blah mentality should not translate into our personal lives. If I, if I am uh, selfish with my relationships, that's okay because there's this whole thing I've talked about it before about false consideration we all tiptoe around each other trying not to be rude because we don't want to be judged and that is just an insane way to live so yeah yeah